What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a certified hood classic. God dang. As a child, one of my favorite appetizers to get was nacho. Layer of chips, you got some cheese, you got a protein of choice on there. Mwah! Absolutely delicious. But we got older, we got wiser, we got a little fatter. People have been blaming the problems of the world on chemtrails and fluoride in the water, when in all reality it was nachos the whole time. <laughs> all jokes aside folks, in today's video I'm going to show you all the tips, tricks, and secrets to make a delicious plate of anabolic nachos that is not only low in carbs and calories overall, but contains a whopping 170 grams of protein. And the best part about this recipe is that we can have it whipped up in right under 10 minutes. And whether you take this massive plate of nachos and sit it out as a sampler at a party, or you do what I do and sit on the couch and eat the whole thing like a glutton, regardless, you'll know you're putting your best foot forward and are having the only nachos you should be eating while you're on a diet. And as always, if you want access to all my high protein anabolic recipes that way, you can eat delicious food while still losing weight and building muscle. You can always pick up a copy of my cookbook, which you'll find at the first link in the description box. We got every recipe from the channel on here, over 300 pages and it grows all the time because you get it once. Every time I drop a new video like this one, it gets added to the book for free. And in today's economy, that's a better deal than a carton of eggs. Hit that link down below to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are ready to get an epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And for the record, I've had these nachos four times this week, and do I look like I'm getting fat? The answer to that question is no. That's the whole point. We eat these recipes, we enjoy what we're doing, we get the results we want. It ain't rocket science, people. And real quick, guys, if you want to be entered in to win a box of the best tasting protein bar in the world, the Anabar, you just gotta do three little things for me. First one, you just gotta hit that thumbs up button on the video. Second thing you gotta do is just be subscribed to the channel. And the third thing you gotta do is sacrifice your firstborn child. I'm kidding. You just gotta leave a comment on the video that'll enter you into the giveaway, and I will announce it in the next video. For last video's winner, stay tuned to the end of this one, and I'll let y'all know who it is. Let's get to these nachos. Come on. All right, guys, first things first, we need a large dinner plate to begin building our nachos. Now, we're not using traditional tortilla chips because they are terrible for you. Seriously, one of the worst foods on this planet. Instead, for the base layer of our nachos, we are gonna be using Quest tortilla-style protein chip. I have the loaded taco flavor right here. This has 112 grams in total, and in this entire bag, we're getting a whopping 68 grams of protein. That's insane. For the same amount of tortilla chips, we'd only be getting like four grams. Now, I bought this big bag at Kroger, which you can too, but if you buy them on Amazon like I do, you would just need four of these little snack size bags. If you're on a diet and you're eating chips, this is the only ones you should be eating. So to start, we'll take our 112 grams of chips, spread them out on our plate, and get a load of these, man. Each one is seasoned, loaded down with flavor, and they're crispy and crunchy, just like a regular tortilla chip. If you gave these to somebody and they didn't know any better, they just think you gave them a regular chip, which is why I love this recipe right here. Now that our base is down, we'll move that to the side, and then for the protein, we're gonna be using 96% lean ground beef. This is the leanest cut of ground beef you can buy at the grocery store. It's gonna save us a tremendous amount of calories versus the regular stuff. You wanna go with this every single time if you're trying to lose weight. But what good is this if it doesn't taste good? We do need to season it, and for that, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna place a measuring cup on a food scale, and I'm gonna use 40% less sodium taco seasoning by Ortega. We're gonna eliminate a ton of the salt while still getting a ton of flavor. Now, there are ways to make homemade taco seasoning that doesn't have any calories, but by the time you buy all the ingredients and mix it all together, quite literally not worth the time investment. So just buy this stuff instead and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna weigh out 36 grams right down in here. And then in conjunction with this, we're also gonna need about 180 grams of water. Let's go ahead and make this beat. All we're gonna do is toss this down in. Then I'm just gonna go with a spatula and break this up into tiny little pieces. All right, and after a couple minutes, we got it pretty chunked up, still a little pink. We just want it to brown. So I'm gonna keep doing this, get all these big chunks broken down. And in about a couple more minutes, this should be cooked all the way through. And once we got the meat basically brown, dump in the seasoning. And then we'll dump in about half the water. Then I'm just gonna go in and mix everything together. Now, we don't want to do all the water at once because we don't drain any of the fat off this beef. There's barely any in there, and we want this to actually taste good. Plus, we tracked it in the recipe, so why drain it off? All right, and once it's all mixed up, I'm just going to flatten it out, and I'm going to let it sit here on a low heat, percolate for a second, let the sauce thicken up, and then we're going to be in business. Wee! God dang! Now, after a few short minutes, the beef is done. We're just gonna spoon it right here onto the top of our tortilla chips, trying to get nice, even coverage. I'm telling you, for all my big eaters out there that wanna be able to get stupid full off a meal while still keeping the calories low and getting in basically your entire daily amount of protein in one meal, this is it right here. Now, once the meat's down and still hot, we need to put cheese on top of the meat so it melts. What I have is fat-free cheddar cheese right here. And we're just gonna weigh out 28 grams and sprinkle it right on top. After that, for 
a ton of flavor and some micronutrients without many calories, we're gonna add some pico de gallo. I personally like to buy it pre-made at the grocery, that way when I need it, I gotta sprinkle it on whatever I want. We're gonna need about 28 grams, and keep in mind if you wanna go a little over, it's not gonna matter, because this has virtually zero calories. All right guys, we are almost done. Next garnish that we're gonna be using is some chopped green onion. These add so much flavor and they're so cheap, and next to no calories, no reason why we shouldn't add them. We're gonna need about seven grams here. Once again, go overboard if you want, because these have almost no calories. And now to send her home, we're gonna be using my favorite taco sauce in the world, Ortega medium sauce. I love this stuff, it's only 10 calories a serving, but you get exceptional flavor. We're gonna need about 32 grams, and I just wanna drizzle a little bit of this right on top, like so. Boom. And then finally, we're gonna add even more cheese. There's this squeezable Old El Paso queso cheese sauce that I absolutely love, only 20 calories a serving. So all things considered, compared to regular cheese, this stuff is pretty good. We're gonna be using 64 grams of this, and what I like to do is start squeezing here and just make some lines like so. Boom. Then I'll just sprinkle a few more green onions on top, and bingo. And there we have it, folks. I present to you the anabolic nacho tower. Whether you're sharing this plate with multiple people at a fancy dinner or you're a glutton and you wanna eat the entire thing on the couch like I do while watching Netflix, you are in luck. A traditional plate of nachos this big would probably send you to the hospital if you ate the whole thing in one sitting. But this plate right here will not do that. You'll be getting in drastically less calories, way more protein, way less carbs, but most importantly, you won't feel like a piece of crap after you eat it. Eating good food should make you feel good after you eat it. And this right here will make you feel like one of those Greek god statues that was carved out of stone, except they quadrupled the size of the private parts, and we all know that's a good feeling. Anyways guys, before this gets cold, let's try it out. Come on. Are you ready to rumble? Time to announce the giveaway winner, folks. The giveaway winner from the last video is Luke Harris with the comment, hey Rem, I'm 15 years old and you've helped a lot with your recipes and advice. I've been lifting for a little over two years and I just came out of an eating disorder. Your positivity and openness is appreciated. Keep up the good work. Well, shucks, man. Appreciate you for reaching out. Thanks for watching the channel. And the thing that struck me about this comment was you mentioned your age. At 15 years old, I hated myself. I hated my body. I thought I was ugly. I had tons of acne. I was getting no women. I was locked in a room playing video games and it looked like my friends that played the sports, did all the athletic stuff, seemed to have perfect bodies. They could take off their shirts at the pool. Women liked them, and that was never me. I would try to lose weight. I remember taking hydroxy cut pills, trying to do cardio. I was never certain what would make me have the body I wanted, right? This type of knowledge wasn't available then. I mean, maybe it was, but in the back of a bodybuilding book. Now this stuff is openly available online, and that is why I try to spread this message far and wide. My entire life changed when I started eating anabolic foods, learning about calories, learning about nutrition, getting my body right, getting a six pack for the first time ever at 24 years old, and quite literally, my entire mindset shifted. I went from being the quiet guy in the back of the room to being in the front of the room, maybe being too loud and annoying, but essentially it has raised my confidence up and ever since then my entire life changed. And if I'd have known at that age I could have done this right here, I would have been doing it. So props to you for doing it early. I know what it is like to struggle with an eating disorder, but I'm telling you, with the right mindset, anything is possible. Appreciate you, boy. Email me the email in my description box. I will get one of these beautiful boxes out to you ASAP. And I'm also gonna make you send proof that you liked the video and are subscribed. So be ready for that. For everybody else, if you wanna check out the world's best tasting protein bar, you can go to theanabar.com, use my code RGF10, you'll save money, and you'll literally be getting the most gourmet protein bar on the market. If you don't believe me, you gotta try it, so I know if you do, you'll be hooked. Check it out, people. For everybody else that hasn't checked it out yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, to be completely honest, but I appreciate all the support. All right, guys, here we go. You already have a rough idea what these nachos look like, right? I'll lift the plate up for you once again. Check that bad boy out. Massive, huge plate of nachos that would fill up even the most mountainous of men, and it'd leave the little soy boys grind in a corner. It's way too much protein and meat for them. All jokes, people. People, all jokes, but yeah, you see it. We got a massive plate of nachos here. Now, let me get in here. This is how I like to do it. You get your tortilla, you go in off the top, you get a little of the meat, the sauce, the cheese, the onion, the pico, bada bing, bada boom. Get you a nice little chip right there. Three, two, one, let's get it. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so deliciously gourmet, it's not even funny. Mm. These chips mixed with the seasoned beef, mixed with the cheese sauce, the cheese we have underneath is melted, the green onions, the pico, the amount of flavors here are absolutely insane. And I guarantee if you made this for anybody and didn't tell them that it was supposed to be like a better, healthier for you version, they'd have no idea. They'd think this would send them straight to the morgue. But boy, how wrong would they be? And now if you're just eating this by yourself, you're not sharing it, you don't wanna make like a finger food, you can always grab a fork, go in, get you some nice big shovels here, just like so, and 
Mm. Seriously, folks, this is about as gourmet as it gets. Now, in this entire plate of nachos, this massive thing, what you end up with if you make it exactly how I showed you, for the whole thing is only 1,282 calories with only 42 grams of fat, a whopping 170 grams of protein. We have 56 grams of carbs with 11 grams of fiber. So technically here, we have 45 grams of net carbs in an entire plate of nachos. The fat at 42 grams, we get a lot of that from the ground beef. But with the fat-free cheese and the Quest chips, we easily have 25% of the fat of a regular massive plate of nachos. Mix that with the addition of the protein in the chips and boom, 170 grams of protein right here in one meal. For me, this is dang near my entire daily requirements worth of protein in one plate of nachos. That is insane. Once I started doing this, it literally became one of my favorite ways to just sit on the couch in the evening when I'm relaxing and I technically have something that I not only love, but I know is doing my body some good. This will be the fourth day this week that I've had these nachos and I promise you, it still hasn't gotten old yet. Mm. And keep in mind, if you're out there riding solo, you have nobody to share a plate of nachos with and you don't think you can finish this thing, you can always take the quantity. For this recipe, divide them all by two, divide them all by a fourth. You can just make a smaller plate of nachos, then you just divide the macros and calories by that number. A little bit of math, it goes a long way. But I know if you make it exactly as is, you're gonna love it. And after it's confirmed that you love it, snap a pretty picture and tag me whatever is your social, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, Friendster, let me know what you think. And as always, if you have my anabolic cookbook, it has been updated. So this recipe is now in there along with every other recipe from the channel. Channel. If you want to have over 300 pages filled with anabolic food ideas, whether that's donuts, ice cream, chocolate chip waffles, sausage McMuffins, pizzas, Parmesan garlic, boneless wing. If you have a food that you love that's gotten you in trouble in your diet, I guarantee I have a version that's going to make you lean and mean. You just got to do it. Hit that link down below if you want to check it out. All right, folks, I'm going to eat about half of this. I'm going to save the other half for later. This is way too much food for right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, enter that dang giveaway. And as always, if you like anything I'm wearing, whether it's the shirts or the jobs, Joggers, the entire fit. Gosh, look at that fit. What? What? Look at that fit. You can always pick any of this stuff up at youngla.com. Use my code RJF to save money. And I guarantee, man or woman, you're going to find something that you love. If you want to lose weight and you want me to make you a meal plan, you want me to work with you as your coach, tell you how to train, how to eat, down to the gram, what you got to do to see results, you can head over to remingtojamesfitness.com. I got all my coaching stuff there. I would love to work with you. With that, folks, I believe we're out of here. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. You guys rock. You guys rock. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. We gone. Mm. Mm -hmm.